The next category is actress in a supporting role. The nominees are Jesse Buckley from The Lost Daughter. I haven't seen that movie. I probably should have. Next one is uh, Ariana DeBose for West Side Story. Uh, Jedi, uh, fuck. Judy Dench for Belfast. Uh, Kirsten Dunst for The Power of the Dog. Anjanui Ali for King Richard. So I think uh, this one, they're going to give it to Ariana DeBose for West Side Story. Um, she's been winning every award, and I think it's uh, well-deserved. So I think she's unstoppable at this point. I don't think anyone is going to surprise uh, a win here. Uh, some people were saying maybe they'll give it to um, Kristen Dunst just because she's been in Hollywood for like two decades or whatever. Um, I, I don't think she'll win. I think they're going to give it to Ariana DeBose. Uh, and she was great in it. She was good at dancing, good at acting, good at singing, good at everything. So, and I think that's one of the solid wins that West Side Story for sure will get. Thoughts? I agree. She did phenomenal. I loved it. I'm glad that I'll be happy with uh, all, all the nominees. If whoever wins, I'll be happy with it. Next category is actor in a supporting role. The nominees are Sierra Hines, Belfast, Troy Katsu. Coda, Jesse Plemons for Power of the Dog. I was surprised about that nomination, actually. J.K. Simmons for Being the Ricardos, and Cody Smith McPhee for The Power of the Dog. Um, before the SAG Awards, I would say that they would give it to Cody Smith McPhee for The Power of the Dog. That's a Kristen Dunst's uh, son, uh, the character in the movie. <clears throat> and I thought they were going to give it to him, but and they may still, but I think they're going to give it to uh, the actor from Coda, uh, Troy Couture. He won the SAG Award. Um, he's the uh, the deaf actor who won, and I think they might give it to him. Jesse Plemons has like a very subtle, very quiet performance in Power of the Dog, so I was surprised that he got nominated, but I figured that at one point he will get an Oscar nomination at one point eventually, so this is the one. Um, I'm sure he'll probably get another one later on. J.K. Simmons. J.K. Simmons was really good. Um, he has won before. I don't think they'll give it to him for this performance. And uh, Ciaran Hines for Belfast. I haven't seen the movie, but I haven't really heard any momentum for that. Uh, of him winning any awards or anything like that. Uh, so I don't think they'll give it to him. But uh, Troy Couture, I think they'll they'll give that to him. And I saw the movie, and he, he, was, he was okay. I mean, he didn't really stood out to me too much, but... I think he'll win. Any uh, thoughts on Best Supporting Actor? I think I've only seen The Power of the Dog, but I love when the movie gets uh, two supporting uh, <laughs> nominations from the same movie. So it's pretty cool. And I love Jesse Plemons. He's one of my favorite actors, <laughs> even though he's not in too much. Mm -hmm. But I just know for a fact we're going to see great things from him. Next category is Actress in a Leading Role. The nominees are Jessica Chastain for The Eyes of Tammy Faye. Olivia Coleman for The Lost Daughter, Penelope Cruz, Parallel Mothers, Nicole Kidman for Being the Ricardos, and Kristen Stewart for Spencer. This one's probably the most competitive uh, category. It's going to go between one of these two people here, two actresses. It's either going to be Jessica Chastain or Nicole Kidman. Even though I'm not 100% confident in this choice, I'll, I'll say they'll give it to Jessica Chastain for The Eyes of Tammy Faye. Um, I've seen those two performances, and I like Jessica Chastain's performance the best. Uh, but Nicole Kidman is playing an iconic love uh, Hollywood icon in Lucy. So they might give it to Nicole Kidman, and she may end up taking the Oscar. But she has won before. Jessica Chastain has not won before. And frankly, I thought Jessica Chastain did better than Nicole Kidman. So I'll pick Jessica Chastain. Okay, the next category is uh, actor in a leading role. The nominees are Javier Bardem, Being the Ricardos, Benedict Cumberbatch, The Power of the Dog, Andrew Garfield, Tick Tick Boom, Will Smith, King Richard, uh, Denzel Washington, The Tragedy of Macbeth. <clears throat> so those are the nominees. Um, I think they're going to give it to Will Smith, finally. Uh, I think he'll finally get his Oscar. It's one of those like top A-list actors who very few who don't have an Oscar, and Will Smith is one of them. Uh, like Tom Cruise is one of them. Um, Brad Pitt was for a while, but now he's got it. But uh, I think it's Will Smith's year. Although I think I would would have picked uh, Andrew Garfield for Tick Tick Boom. That would have been my choice, but uh, I think it's Will Smith's year. Uh, Brian. 
Well, I haven't seen any of these movies, but I saw the trailer for the uh, I Love Lucy movie, whatever it's called. Rick Being the Ricardo. So, Javier Bardem sounds like Antoine Sugar from No Country for Old Men. <laughs> when Ricky Ricardo or Desi Arnaz sounds completely different, it's like... Like when he says, hey, uh, I'm whole, you know, it does not sound like Javier Bardem at all. But I want to watch it now just oh. to see how, how, he, how he does the voice. Okay, yeah. Flip, the, call the coin over. Call, <laughs> <I know. laughs> call it. Yeah, like it was good. Like he was like dancing around and singing and all that shit. But, he just uh, does not look like Ricky Ricardo. <laughs> no, or he sound doesn't. like him at all. But I yeah. didn't see the movie. I just like, heard, I saw the trailer. Yeah. I cover batch. Like, seeing him in this role, I've never seen him one like that before. Mm-hmm. So, to me, it was, like, kind of like a breakout role, especially seeing him in Doctor Strange and stuff. So, maybe he could win. Because his audience right now, I feel like, is more Marvel-based. So. Well, of all the Oscar-beating movies Will Smith mm-hmm. has done, uh, this is his best one. So, yeah. I'll be happy if he wins it for this one. Okay, the next category is Best Directing. Nominees are Paul Thomas Anderson for Licorice Pizza, Kenneth Branagh, Belfast, Jane Campion for The Power of the Dog, Steven Spielberg for West Side Story, and Yusuke Hamaguchi for Drive My Car. So I think they're going to give it to Jane Campion, The Power of the Dog. She's the, uh, the only female director nominated for an, for an Oscar for directing twice. And she didn't win the first time, so I think they're actually going to give it to her this time. Uh, her second nomination as director. Uh, I don't think they'll give it to Paul Thomas Anderson, because that will probably mean that he would have to win Best Picture, most likely, because at that point he wouldn't have won anything at that point. And I don't think that's going to happen. Kenneth Branagh, I don't think so. Steven Spielberg, um, I don't think they want to give that to, to him, because again, West Side Story would have to win Best Picture, probably. And Drive My Car would have already gotten its international feature film Oscar, so I don't think they'll give it to him. Uh, so I think Jane Campion will take the win, and that'll be the second year in a row that a female director wins Best Director. So your thoughts on Best Directing? Well, I thought Best Director was kind of like the compensation prize, where if you're not going to win Best Pictures, you get Best Director. What was the last movie that won Best Director and Best Picture? Uh, last year. What movie was that? No Man Land. Oh, it's, it's, it's not that common. Usually Best Picture and Best Director no would go Man's together. Man. Oh my god. Sometimes god, they do. Movie. Sometimes they do separate it like that. But it's not usually... It's not that common. Last year's Oscar, so forget about, forget about that already. Uh, the no Man Land. Oh my god. You just reminded me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, what was her first uh, nomination? The piano. Oh yeah, that's what ninety eight. Ninety three. Ninety three. With Adrian Brody. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you think about the pianist. Yeah, that's the a pianist. good movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The pianist was good. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. great. <laughs> It's kind of long, though. Yeah. Well, Long enough. Why are you laughing? I'm okay if she wins. Um, and I'm rooting for Paul Thomas Anderson, because uh, he's one of my favorite directors. I want Steven Spielberg to win it, though. Who would you want to win? The, uh, In this category? Yeah. I would say Steven Spielberg. Hell Ooh. yes. Yeah. So great. Became my new director because of this. My new, new director. New director. New, Your favorite. He directs my life and <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> my new favorite director. <laughs> so the other movies didn't do it for you? <laughs> you Not like this. This is great. This is, in your opinion, is your be- your, the best Spielberg movie? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it's up there. Your current favorite. Yes, current favorite. His first attempt at a musical. All right. The next and last category is best picture. So this time we have 10 nominees. And the nominees are Belfast, Coda, Don't Look Up, Drive My Car, Dune, King Richard, Licorice Pizza, Nightmare Alley, The Power of the Dog, and West Side Story. So I'll just ask you, before I tell you my prediction, who would you like it to win? West Side Story. 
right? There's too many. There's too many nominees. I think this should be cut down at least in half. Damn. So like it was before <laughs> five. Make, yeah. yeah. To make it more prestigious. Uh, for me, I have a. For me, I have a top three. Um, in order, I want West Side Story, The Power of the Dog, and Dune. And there is too many nominations. They need to cut that down again. I hated that. What was the movie that people got upset about that wasn't nominated? Dark Knight. Dark Knight. And then they went to 10. Mm-hmm. Well, like, they lost their chance to dominate Dark Knight. It doesn't matter if they add 10. They're not going to nominate Dark Knight later. And they just wanted to be like, well, we can't do this mistake again. Yeah, but that's stupid because there, was, there hasn't been another Dark Knight. But if you had to pick. And then, and then we get Don't Look Up. Come on. I know. That shouldn't Come even be don't, don't Look Up, I, I don't know why COVID it got in so many nominations. I don't think Because it, it wasn't even we reviewed well either. It's so I think bad. we know why. It wasn't well received. Like it, it had a, it had a, it had a good message. I get it, but it did not. The movie was freaking long. Did not need to be nominated for best picture. Hell no. Why did it get the nomination for? Because Leonardo DiCaprio. Because of the uh, the story that it's like it's based off of. Uh, no, the story is about global warming, right? Mm-hmm. Basically, yeah. So, but well, it, Hollywood is for you know fixing everything and, like and going was, green. Yeah. So I think that's why it got nominated. It was, it was a green nomination. And it was relevant also for COVID-19. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Because there's a lot of COVID-19 little references there. And then there, little... stab at the Trumps a little it bit too. It was so the fucking nepotism. bad. The satire was so bad in that movie. It was heavy-handed. It was completely heavy-handed. <clears throat> so the one that I think will win is... The Power of the Dog. I think that's going to win Best Picture. But that's the boring winner. It you is. Know what I mean, like it's, it is. It's, it's no, it is. I know what he means, it. though. It's fine if it wins it, but people are going to be like, "That's what they pick for the Best Picture," and then then that gives them their excuse to talk shit on the Oscars. <laughs> it's just yeah. So I, I mean, it may not. Like I said, it might be a surprise to be like, "Oh, Coda's going to sweep it and win everything." Uh, d- don't look up. Is not going to win it. I know that for sure. Drive my car is not going to win. I think Dune should win. That's my choice. That's my pick. That's who I would pick, but it's not going to win that. I'd be happy with that. King Richard, I don't think so. Licorice Pizza, I don't think so. Nightmare Alley, I don't think so. A Belf- Maybe Belfast. Maybe Belfast gets more wins than expected. So I think it'll be either Belfast, Coda, or The Power of the Dog, but I think they'll give it to Power of the Dog. It and it might be one of those movies that will be like forgettable later on in years. You yeah, know, like, one of like I forgot already about yeah. No Man's Land. Wait, was that, that what was, that was called? That was just yeah, No Man's Land. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was just last year. So, so that's it for our prediction. Let's see how many we get correct. Uh, which one of these categories is not going to be televised? Oh, the ones that are not going to be televised live. Uh, it's quite a few actually. Oh. Uh, let's see all the shorts. That's some uh, shit. <laughs> I think all the I think all the music ones, so song and score, and what was the other one? That's a pretty important category, though. A production design, I think costume design. A lot of the technical awards, like they they're gonna record, like they'll film it, but they're gonna film it an hour before the show, and then they'll show little portions of just the winners. Mm. So everything's pre-recorded. No. Just those categories. Is it because of COVID? Or no. Like- no, they just want to cut down on the show. The, the length of the show. That's stupid. Because they're thinking that people don't really care for animated short, people that costume love design. People do. <laughs> yeah, but they're, I guess it was ABC's idea. Mm. It was ABC ideas that they told the Oscar that they have to cut down the show because Commercials. they were losing ratings. And I think it's because of some of those categories. that I have a prediction that this Oscar will be the lowest rated Oscars Ever. The last one was the lowest rated one ever, I th- right? I think it declines every year. It's been declining every year? I think it has. And yes, yesterday. Last year, last year I think it was probably pretty low because yeah. they were like in a fucking train station <laughs> or some shit. It's so bad. And it, it was just different. It just felt weird. So yeah, so that's going to conclude today's uh, podcast of the Oscars predictions and discussion with uh, myself, Giovanni, and... Uh, the movie canon movie council jessica brian and i you so thanks very much for joining me today in this oscars talk and we'll see how we how we did in the uh, predictions and thank you so much for watching and listening predictions